Welcome viewers to Historical Journeys. To rediscovering their old pasts, a few nations just have to concentrate on their landmarks. Yet for countries like Ireland, that far-off history is a smidgen more hard to reveal. In any case, there's one cemetery that has perplexed archaeologists for ages. Furthermore, because of state-of-the-art innovation, specialists have gotten on secret subtleties. However, Wilson wished that this past stayed confidential. Irish Burial Chamber uncovers truth about the nation's past. But before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. It only takes a second, and you won't miss any of our future videos. Let's get started. The of every one of these interment destinations, some of which date back to a long time back, New Grinch is the crown gem. No cutting-edge researchers had the option to unravel New Grinch's meaning. However, Dr. Daniel Bradley of Trinity School accepted he could succeed where so many others fizzled. The geneticist arose as one of the premier specialists in antiquated DNA and reviewed the hill with his partner Laura Cassidy. In all actuality, it wasn't similar to the Trinity analysts were kicking off something new, while a legitimate archaeological exhuming started in 1962. Was there anything left for Bradley and Cassidy? The winding passages and rock walls of new grit ingrained them with all the certainty they required, considering it a liminal space, a spot that rouses a kind of all the Trinity group went chasing after anything hints of DNA they might find. Estimating at 250 feet in width and 40 feet, high new smiles, addresses an accomplishment of Stone Age designing. Cassidy and Bradley construed that anybody associated with the site probably been socially conspicuous, and anybody covered there probably been unbelievable. The really underground chamber isn't noteworthy only due to its size, or how much bones found inside a lookout window in the rooftop permits the sun to illuminate the room most brilliantly throughout the colder time of year solstice. While little is known about New Grinch's planners, there was no question that this was the pinnacle of their accomplishments. This creator common burial chamber visitor Bradley and Cassidy should act as the last resting place for anything that sort of eminence drove these antiquated Irish individuals' DNA investigation would give the most clear look into their lives as this civilization abandoned not many detectable clues a wide range of obscured glyphs and drawings enliven the walls of New Grinch. However, the greater part of their definite implications are lost to us. With no kind of Irish Rosetta Stone to direct them, the Trinity specialists directed their concentration toward a less wonderful-looking component. They gathered examples from the bones in the primary chamber. Past deciding the date of death, Bradley and Cassidy desired to gain where these individuals came from and who connected with. Subsequent to disconnecting qualities acquired from the individual's dad, and Mom Bradley and Cassidy were stunned to see that a considerable lot of these successions were almost indistinguishable. These likenesses went past the Guardians hailing from a similar local area. They were indistinguishable to such an extent that the departed Guardians probably been from a similar family. While the untouchable of inbreeding was possible particularly present in antiquated Ireland, strong families like the people who fabricate new grit could transcend the standards by wedding and reproducing with one another honorable family could solidify power inside their own loved ones. It was much the same as the number of Egyptian lines that continued driving Bradley to portray the home of New Grinch's Irish pharaohs. This seeing is additionally related with long-held Irish legends. Verifiable records ordered in the medieval times referenced the ruler Bristle, who was involved with his sister, and passed on close to Newbridge. The Trinity analysts could have confirmed his way of life, as well as the underlying foundations of Ireland. The pharaoh in this burial place had just a hint of native qualities in his remaining parts, demonstrating that these leaders of Ireland started elsewhere. The disclosure sent waves all through the scholastic local area, however, not without some analysis. David Reek, a specialist in ancient human movement, called attention to that a portion of the new Grinch and Tomments happened many years separated holes that could convolute any stories about the development of the Irish public. Soon after things were appearing to settle down at Newgrange, a turf shaper from Northern Ireland called Jack Conway went out to deal with the Embla Lowland. At first undeniably looked ordinary, however he was going to uncover something that hadn't come around for one thousands of years. While he was working, Jack's digging tool out of nowhere hit something significantly harder than the PD was attempting to gather. He immediately uncovered it, particularly since it would barely be the initial occasion when something secretive was uncovered from the bugs previously. You see the land that turned into the bugs was once the convergence of three distinct old realms and was believed be a spot with otherworldly powers practically like something out of a high dream film. The terrain's magical standing would get individuals droves to the lowlands. Feeling an otherworldly association with the land, individuals would frequently come and cover contributions to the divine beings for their security. 
However, the swamps really have an exceptional property individuals found hundreds of years after the fact. The low temperatures and high sharpness of the bugs joined with a low measure of oxygen makes them fantastic at saving whatever is covered underneath. Over the long haul, individuals have revealed a genuine mother lode's worth of relics from Irish peat marshes. Since the bugs forestall deterioration, old items including apparatuses, coins, adornments, and other 1,000-year-old knickknacks have been tracked down in somewhat great shape. The additive properties of the bugs likewise made them helpful for a more evil reason, which made Jack's underlying disclosure a piece troubling. The damp profundities of the Embo lowland were additionally especially great embalming bodies. A few old bodies were found on the lower part of the marsh, some obviously not there by accident by the same token. Fortunately, it turned out to be he clearly hadn't tracked down a body however he actually didn't know what he had found all things considered. Nonetheless, there was one thing that stood apart about Jack's disclosure. It had an especially odd smell to it depicted as being like areas of strength for a not undesirable cheddar. Unfit to understand the piece covered 12 feet into the marsh, Jack brought in the authorities from the Cavan District Gallery. Not at all like current blocks of salted spread that can keep new for a couple of months without a cooler salt was in like manner in Middle Age Ireland. So the low temperatures and additive properties of the bugs made them into a characteristic cooler of sorts. Many chunks of this hard spread have been found in holders comprised of creature bladders or wood, a considerable lot of which likewise may do for 1000s of years in flawless condition. Yet how could old individuals go through such a difficult situation only for a fixing? Back in bygone eras, spread was really an extravagance decent that individuals could make good on their charges and lease with while we want to cover our biddles with Lando lakes like that. There's as yet one significant inquiry concerning this antiquated margarine. While Jack depicted the uneven on earth thus having a genuinely lovely fragrance, others were less magnanimous. The smell of old swamp spread has been contrasted with a stomach-stirring blend of ruined milk and terrible parmesan cheddar. Who might be sufficiently daring to take a stab at tasting this then? At that point, Andrew Zimmern really attempted a touch of 3,000-year-old weed margarine on his show Peculiar Food Varieties. He depicted the taste as a ton of funk with an insane rotten finish, yet there are still individuals who can't avoid attempting it for themselves. The 300-year-old irregularity was really brought into an Irish primary school for the children to trial it for themselves. Maybe it's a greater amount of a mixed bag. One way or another, this antiquated custom is beginning to get on with local people. Truth be told, one nearby man concluded he would make his own March margarine. Subsequent to making three pounds of handcrafted spread Brian Tone, enclosed it by cheesecloth and covered the bump in the marsh behind his home. He uncovered it following an extended period of maturing in the Irish open country. The outcome looked significantly more precise composing than any of the old ones that were uncovered. As indicated by Brian, it tastes really gritty that he appreciates while making eggs or showering it on top of popcorn. However, the pattern of D. Lowland spread presumably won't get on numerous hunks keep on being found. You could see a couple of pieces in Irish historical centers simply don't be shocked in the event that they won't allow you to have a taste. Subsequent to soaking in a sea fight in 1676, the Goliath transport the Cronin sat calmly at the lower part of the sea for a long time. Incredibly, in 1980, a novice specialist named Anders Franzen found the Rex area. The Swedish government supported yearly archaeological plunges to gather any last curios, what was concealed in the boat for all that time. After an intensive inquiry of the boat, the plunge groups found a lot of old guns, however, that was only the start. They likewise found instruments including violins and trumpets, an overflow of gold and silver coins, a gold ring and a wooden plaque with the name of the boat cut into it. Right when analysts thought they uncover almost everything of significance. At first no one knew what they had coincidentally found more gold and silver coins. At the point when researchers at last got into the can, a staggering sharp smell hit them like a rotten wall. They gazed at the grayish piece of mush and abruptly it hit them. During the time when the Cronin was constructed cheddar was a genuine superficial point of interest. For this situation, in any case, the cheddar was clearly beyond its heyday. The Cronin cheddar sits in plain view at the historical center alongside the other discoveries. Since the boat was found in 1980, jumping groups have gathered more than 30,000 curios and they haven't even investigated everywhere. Perhaps they'll run over a decent Merla to coordinate with the cheddar. Thanks for watching. If you want to stay updated with our latest videos, subscribing is the way to go. Just click that red button below and become a part of our channel family.